Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> well, about 24 hours ago, our golden retriever just <laughs> gave birth to golden doodles. So it has been quite the adventure. It's like, so as I record this, last Sunday, we ran up to Buffalo, New York, delivered our last two standard poodle puppies. We had a not even a one week breather between litters, so but Nellie's in the next room. She's good. No, my little buddy Whiskey, who's been on a few of my videos, is not the father. Our other our other sire is Denver. Which is funny because we got Whiskey one of our dogs is Whiskey. Our other boy dog is named Denver. We call him Den for short. Whiskey, Den. <laughs> so anyway, enough of that, okay? You didn't tune in to hear me. You know, you heard me to crack this one open. So um, I have been doing several of these videos. I might just, I think I'm going to schedule them. Bang, bang, bang. Blame, blame, blame. Um, just to, because I want to try them all in a blind all together. That will be one loopy video. <laughs> so this is Benchmark Top Floor. It's 86 proof. <clears throat> As you know, and I've said this in the other videos, Benchmark Gold Number 8, 80 proof bourbon out of Benchmark. That one's aged for 36 months has been the reigning champ over like three, well, two and a half years of bottom shelf bourbon battles, which is crazy. You know, you would think every, you know, I put all these other bottom shelf bourbons up against Benchmark and um, Benchmark always seems to win. Even in a blind, I did a blind tasting recently between my three favorite bottom shelfers, which is Benchmark Gold Number 8 and Ancient Age, both out of Buffalo Trace, different mash bills, and Heaven Hill Quality House. Man, the Benchmark blew the other two away. So that is my reigning favorite bottom shelf bourbon. And that's why I've been kind of hesitant in getting and trying out these other Benchmark expressions because... Um, you know, I like it so much. Some of these others actually have been a letdown. But Benchmark Top Floor 86 Proof, the story on this is bourbon that matures on the top warehouse floors tends to age faster as heat rises. This top floor Kentucky Straight Bourbon is smooth and well-rounded to be enjoyed straight with ice or in your favorite cocktail. So there you go. Let's see what I think of it. This is aged, I would assume, at least 36 months, like Benchmark Old Number 8 brand. Um, the only one I know for certain that is aged longer than 36 months would be the Benchmark Bonded, which minimum needs to be aged for four years to be considered bottled and bond. Now... Okay, and what did I say the proof was? 86 proof. So this is just a little bit more alcohol content than my beloved old number 8, 80 proof benchmark. So let's see what we get on this. Here in Ohio, I don't see it much. Um, I've got, I got the bonded here in Ohio over in uh, at a Bueller's supermarket near me but the others I've either gotten on my trips down to Kentucky or a friend of mine out in Indiana autumn she and her husband have gifted me a couple of bottles so I think I don't know I think this is probably I don't know if this is gifted to me or not MSRP on this is around I, I think like around $15. I haven't checked. Shame on me for not doing my homework. Yes, I've done a couple of bourbon videos prior to this one. 
So I've done my acclimation and I'm feeling pretty okay. So here we go. Corn sweetness. I'm not expecting much. We'll see what we got. Doesn't look like it's got a lot of age on it. I'm going to go with 36 months. Why would they offer something when their bottom entry level benchmark is at age at least for three years? I don't see them offering this at a two year mark, but who knows? And it's the, bu <laughs> I'll get to it, all right? It, it, I gotta say all this. It is the Buffalo Trace Mash Bill number one, which is their low rye bourbon mash bill. There we go. Same mash bill as Benchmark Gold number eight, Buffalo Trace Bourbon, Colonel E.H. Taylor Bottle and Bond, Eagle Rare, Stag, and George T. Stag. I'm probably missing something, but you get the gist. <sighs> nice and sweet. Like, like the rest of these, it's got an ethanol -y kind of smell to it. But as expected, it's probably high corn, low rye, low malted barley. But let's see what we think of it. Like I said, I've done it two other videos. I've already had my acclimation taste. I only, I don't really, I mean, like what, an ounce on these videos. Maybe two, I don't know, about an ounce. Once it opens up a bit, it should be good. I, I mean, it's okay, it's decent. For an 86 proof, it's pretty smooth. Um, I tend to find bourbons in that 80 to, you know, less than 90 proof expression. For some reason, you would think with the the more higher water, sixty percent water content on it, it would be uh, more watery than anything else. This, of course, since it's forty three proof, would be forty seven percent. Right? No, fifty seven. Fifty seven percent water. Of course, good old Kentucky limestone filtered water for all of you gents and ladies. So you would think a lower proof would be smoother. In my opinion, a higher proof around that 100 proof mark is the smoothest bourbon. It's good. Uh, 86 proof is not in my wheelhouse. But, you know, it's... I still, I gotta say, out, off the top of my head, the benchmark old number eight is probably probably my favorite with the full proof, actually, because it's a higher alcohol content, is, is also in my wheelhouse, uh, is also a really good bourbon. These in-betweeners... I've noted in these videos have kind of let me down a little bit. I mean, it's okay. 86 proof bourbons are not my favorites. I don't know why. I just, I just don't get to them, but this is probably, yeah, I've done this also on a couple of videos. Uh, one of the other videos just tried it out a little bit further. <sighs> I mean, it's, let's, let me put it this way. It's, it's a decent bourbon. It's not spectacular. It's, 
kind of like what kind of analogy and I don't want to offend anybody that really loves this bourbon but you know it's like going to McDonald's and getting you can get either a quarter pounder with cheese you can get a double cheeseburger a single hamburger or a Big Mac and you know to me the I really like the quarter the double cheese the double the McDouble or whatever they call it the double cheeseburger yeah, the one with two patties. Yeah, it's small. You got the two all beef patties. And you got two slices of cheese. So I don't know if that's a double cheeseburger or the McDouble. But, you know, it, it's, it's good. It does something for you. It satisfies a craving that you have. But is that what you're going to reach for <laughs> when you want... You know something substantial no so this satisfies something it's not substantial you know if I want just a nice little pour of something that is what it is it's not putting on errors it's not saying it's something more than it is and um, I'll, I'll reach for it but it's not gonna be the first thing I reach for so like tonight, we're having some steak. Um, I'll have, you know, but it's leftover steak, so I might have this along with it. It's not like, so it's not, so it's leftover steak from last night because Nellie gave birth to our puppies basically in the middle of our having dinner. <laughs> so we had to rush out, so we got our steak leftover. So something like this might be a nice little pour to have with that leftover steak. Whereas if I was having, you know, like steak on a charcoal grill, it's a, you know, either porterhouse or, by the way, it was a porterhouse that I had prepared last night, but broiled it. Um, porterhouse or ribeye or something. I go for something like the E.H. Taylor or the Eagle Rare. But if it's leftover steak, I might just go for this. I don't know. But it's decent. It's okay. It fills the bill. If um, you have, I was going to say around $20 and you're really dying to get a good bourbon, I would pass on it. I would go for, <clears throat> I've said it in the other video, I'd go for George Dickel um, tan label. I'm looking at it. That's why I'm over there. Don't mean to ignore you. <laughs> the George Dickel Tennessee Whiskey tan label. I would go for yeah, the benchmark old number eight. I would go for what What else in that $20 mark? A um, couple other ones. I'd go for Wild Turkey 101 over this. So... Which is cost a little bit more. Maker's Mark, I'd go over. I would take over this. But, like I said in some of the other videos, if you are a collector and you want to just get the set, they range in price from Benchmark Gold number 8, $11. The full proof is around and you know if you if you just want to collect them and display them and just have them so you have them just get it but don't expect something spectacular out of these um, so there you go that's my opinion I'm sticking to it this has opened up a bit while I've been rambling on yeah now it's a little bit sweeter opened up a little bit more a little bit more satisfying but still not spectacular 86 proof oh I just if you're going to do an 86 proof at this price point old Forester 86 proof or um, spend two dollars more than that 86 proof old Forester and get treat yourself to the 100 proof old Forester 100 treat yourself to the old forester 100 proof for like two dollars more so there you go i'll leave it there um nice to have not my go-to nice to have 
So until next time, it is me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. Hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, Buffalo Trace, if you're watching, I doubt you are because I'm the least watched bourbon review channel here on YouTube. But uh, you shouldn't have done all these different proofs in between. If I was you, I'd do the 80 proof, the 100 proof bottle and bond, and the full proof and age the full proof a little bit longer. So there you go. End of rant, end of review. I'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.